Hey everybody, Clifton Driver for Keller Williams Realty, East Bay. How's everybody doing today? Coming to you live from Lake Berryessa, Lake Talk number six, I believe. Um, on the lake today, it's a little, a little breezy. I actually just did a video um, that, sorry about that. I just did a video uh, standing up, which uh, was very interesting. Um, it was a little difficult. I got a little sidetracked because waves were coming in and whatnot. I'm gonna post it anyway, but I'm gonna go over the same stuff right now. So Lake Berryessa, here we go. Look behind me. That's the Osprey bald eagle nesting fishing area all along here. Behind me back there is the Berryessa Highlands once again. Um, amazing place to have a home. Uh, the homes are going up out there. If anybody's interested, let me know. I'd be happy to, uh, to go uh, view some homes. Um, this lake right now, the water is average um, from surface to 10 feet deep. It's 80 degrees. I mean, literally, it's uh, like swimming in a heated pool. Um, this lake is about, uh, well, the deepest part of the lake is 275 feet right now. So, um, this lake has been booming this summer due to COVID uh, and kind of a, I'm calling it like a, a renaissance, a rejuvenation of this lake, uh, things that are going on. You know, when they first built this lake, it was not meant for recreation. Uh, it was some of the best soil in the country. It was super fertile. Um, and, you know, when they decided to make the dam over at Monticello, um, you know, it kind of took all that away. And what it also did is it took... Uh, the whole city of Monticello had to move uh, to create this dam uh, and to create this lake. So a uh, really interesting story. Everybody that lived in that city had to go. Uh, I'm talking everybody. So, um, you know, a lot of sacrifices for this lake. You know, they did not anticipate it being a recreational lake. Um, obviously now it is, it's just, it's amazing. Listen, can you hear that? Sounds like Osprey. Anyway. Um, real estate. Let's talk real estate real quick. Uh, I want to talk buyers and sellers. Uh, first of all, I want to talk the economy, the housing market. Amazing. I can't believe how resilient the, the housing market uh, is right now, how it's bounced back. Uh, it definitely did take a bit of a hit more nationally, not so much locally, um, but it's back. You know, it's, uh, it's back. Uh, it's a V shape. Uh, rebound and you know who knows what's going to happen tomorrow who knows what's going to happen next year but right now things are rocking a lot of buyers are out there right now super low interest rates they're wanting to get out to more rural areas um, you know now's the time they've been looking now is the they just came out with a study that said that 49 percent of buyers compared to 41 percent pre-covid um, were actually um, not just looking, but are actually in the buying, uh, in the buying phase. So lots going on. Um, there are, there's more inventory coming on the market right now as well, which helps the buyers more to choose from, maybe a little bit less competition. Uh, sellers, still a seller's market. It, it really is. Uh, as you guys know, multiple offers on homes. Um, you know, what I recommend, you know, when you're listing your home, you know, 